We're here in Antwerp, Belgium with Vrenz Blyenberg. Uh, Vrenz, you've had a kind of a breakout season this year. First division, handling the ball, playing pick and roll, doing a little bit of everything on the floor. Uh, how would you describe you know, the season that you've had so far? I think we, I have a great season so far, trying to get the best out of the team. In the beginning of the, of the year, it was really tough because we, because we played in a really tough competition, Euro Cup. It was really good for the team to make progress. But uh, I showed myself a little bit there, what I can make and what I can uh, what I can do. And uh, yeah, that was the biggest thing for me so far. So uh, I really showed myself yet in the season and I'm trying to do it every game. We're gonna break down your film here. We're gonna have kind of a, a new segment here. So we've done these film sessions with a ton of guys in the past, but uh, we're kind of rebranding it here. We're gonna call it five on five, okay? And it's gonna be five clips that are, you know, some of your better highlights from the season. Um, that I think can translate to the next level and then five clips where we'll ask you, you know, maybe something you could have done differently or, or what you okay. see uh, and how you can improve. And so I want to get your opinion on, you know, this first one here. Okay, so you've been really good kind of pushing in the open court and, and creating for others. Is that what you feel most comfortable? I with? think that's the strongest point of my like go coast to coast, mm -hmm. find the open man, pushing the ball, get some speed in the game. And I think that's my strongest point at the moment. So how do you take me through what's going through your mind here, able to kind of fit this ball through through such a tight window? I mean, that's one, it takes a lot of confidence to make that play, but what are you seeing here that allows you to make this pass? Uh, first of all, I get the outlet pass from my mm -hmm. teammate. I'm always, when I get the ball, I see forward to, if, if a big guy is running the floor, I'm gonna, I can't throw that pass. But here on the clip, you can see I make an extra dribble mm -hmm. because I don't want to get the big with the ball in the middle. So I passed it at the last time, so he don't have to dribble that much anymore. And um, yeah, I think it's a good run from the big two. Yeah, great rim run. And like you said, the ability to pass it off the dribble like that, uh -huh. um, you know, that allows you to fit that ball through such a tight window and then just one, two steps uh -huh. right to the front of the rim. And the NBA is so much about positionless, right? Yeah, um, Being able to grab the rebound and just go push yourself. Do you feel like you fit into that kind of positionless style of play? Yeah, I think really, yeah. If I see it sometimes, I really see myself. I think I can't do it. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to practice a lot of it. In, in practice, I'm doing it a lot. So yeah, trying to get better on it and always might make the right decision. Definitely, and, and so that's your playmaking in the open court, right? And I, I think where you can be really effective is in pick and roll. And uh -huh. okay, not every NBA team, you know, they have Damian Lillard and, and Trey Young and Chris Paul and you know elite point guards, but I think you're a guy who can come off those second side pick and rolls yeah. and, and really play make. Um, what do you think, aside from your size, what do you think's allowed you to be such an effective pick and roll passer? Uh, I think in the NBA, I, I will be, if I, if I reach it, I will be more a secondary playmaker mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. because I really got the court vision for it and I can really find the, the open man. And I think it's important to, to get someone in the team that can really can find the open man because it's, it's good for the team. Mm -hmm. But uh, the only thing I need to improve is like more to be more aggressive to the rim mm -hmm. because now I'm looking more to pass the ball and find the open maze, but sometimes I gotta look for myself. Yeah, most definitely. And, and this clip here, so the second clip we're gonna go over, uh, I like your ability to read the defense here and kind of thread the needle. As you come off, you know, really good spacing from you guys and, and just one dive man, but which defenders are you reading as you come off this pick and roll? Like, wh what's going through your mind? Uh, first of all, I look at the big that guarding me mm -hmm. off, uh, off the screen. Yeah. He was really high, so I thought if I make a backup dribble and the bigs dive quick, I can make space for the big guy too. Yeah. Uh, next of that, I, w I watched to the last man of the guy of 22, maybe you, you can you can see the number maybe. On the opposite block? But yeah. yeah, the opposite block. And if he's coming really close, I can't skip it to the corner. But now he was really on the block, so I have time to pass the ball to, to my big guy and he had an easy layup. So now I think, okay, we've seen you doing that to your right hand, right? Mm -hmm. um, what do you see here as, as you come off to your left and anything that maybe you would have done differently? Uh, I might uh, defeat the corner. Mm -hmm. When I'm taking the screen, the corner is wide open. But uh, I, I was really looking to shoot off of this because it's, it's a slower big guy. Yeah. Trying to make contact. But here, I can't fit the roll and the corner. So that was a better option in my opinion now. Yeah, a couple, a couple pretty good options, right? So you're going to come yeah. to your left and they're going to hard hedge it. You do a good job of beating mm -hmm. that hedge, right? 
you probably won't see as many hard hedges in the NBA. It's more drops and switches and ices in the sideline. But, you know, you beat that hard hedge. Um, and then maybe you have like a left-handed yeah. pocket pass. Do you mm -hmm. think you have that? Yeah, I think I have that. I have some clips. I can't really do it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's an option. And then, okay, if, if that's taken, if Amar takes that, then what yeah, do you the have? The lift is open. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good point. Yeah. So maybe it's the left hand for the yeah. lift as well. Um, and then, you know, end up with a contested shot. I mean, yeah, you can make that shot. I can make it, but it was not the best decision. So here's you, just to, just to follow that up then, here's you making an impressive read going to your left, just showing your ability to fit the ball through tight windows. You remember this play? Uh-huh, yeah. So what happens here? Uh, I, I, saw, I saw a little bit of space behind the defense, behind mm -hmm. the defense because uh, he was not really getting tagged up by the weak side. Maybe a little bit. I saw, I saw him diving really quick, so I saw a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I couldn't make the pass easy. This is great. You know, a big reason why he's able to, they're chasing over is because he can really shoot the ball, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, how has your, we'll get into your shooting, but how has your shot, you know, kind of evolved over the years? Uh, over the years, it was really tough for me because I was a lot in the gym, lifting a lot of weights. So yeah. it was difficult to, to get a consistent shot. Um, after, yeah, like the beginning of this year, I shot a lot. I was less in the gym, but I wanted to, to get my shot in kind of perfection. Yeah. I really showed it in the beginning of the season. Now I'm struggling a little bit again, but I think I'm a, I'm a good shooter. I think I can make shots. Sometimes it will be better than other nights, but yeah, it, I think I can really make a shot. So then our fourth clip here from you, um, I want to ask your opinion on this one. Okay. So, so you're finishing, um, you know, how you, you mentioned going to the rim more aggressively, right? Yeah. I need to do it way more because I can't really do it. But because I do it so less, I'm getting uh, more hesitating when I'm doing it. Yeah. And that's why I be I need to be more confident in it. Because I can't really, because I'm that tall, yeah. I can easily finish near the rim. 100%. And that's why I'm, uh, I need to be more, just more confident because I'm doing it. Most definitely. And okay, at first, you do a good job separating. I mean, this could maybe even be a shot because mm -hmm. it goes under, right? But, um, you know, you go downhill to the rim against a drop. And then if you look at just kind of fading away from the rim, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you see where you end up. I, I gotta go with contact to the rim. Too. And so this clip is perfect to show exactly that. Okay, so really good job, like change of pace. You see the gap. Yeah. I mean, then look at your size, you know, you're 6'10", finishing through, through contact. Mm -hmm. What do you see here? Yeah, here I was more aggressive to the rim because I was thinking a lot that game just to be aggressive, uh, trying to get the teammate, uh, the, the opening in fall trouble. So. Just if I go to the rim, go with contact, try to finish over them because I, I can't do it and I need to do it. I need to do it more. Yeah, this is great. This is a great clip for you. And I think, um, you know, this lane is also open too because this big knows that you're a really good passer, right? Mm -hmm. So he's like worried about retreating yeah. back to the roller mm -hmm. and you take perfect advantage. Um, so that, yeah, I think that's a great clip and a, and a good model for you. Um, one thing with your shooting that I noticed, like how much of a focus has it been for you to like finish your stop, shot and stay uh, in yeah. your shot? Even from the youth, I'm, I'm not finishing my shot. And that's why maybe it's not uh, that consistent because if I, if I hold my follow through and sometimes I'm, I'm shooting too quick and like, uh, I, need, I don't know how to say it, but like without any control, you know? Yeah, and you can see it on my how my feet are set and how my follow through is going away mm -hmm. when the ball is not even in the rim yet, and that's why I try to work on to hold my follow through longer, get my foot, uh, my feet set, and then take a shot. Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. And listen, not every shooter is the same way, right? No. Like, you know, Steph Curry shoots it differently than Clay Thompson, and uh -huh. it's not one perfect formula, right? And I think you've proven that you have. Great touch, you know, from from all over the court. You've made a ton of a ton of really tough shots this season. But I think this clip right here is almost the perfect formula for you, right? So, okay, look, hands and feet are ready. Mm -hmm. Shot preparation on the hop, and then look at how you finish it, right? Yep. You think that's kind of the model for you? Yeah, I think th th this was a good shot. I was ready to catch the ball. To my feet are set, and then it's an easy shot. I just need to be to to be ready to shoot. And that's a deep one too. Uh, you've taken quite a few deep threes this year, huh? You have a lot of confidence in your shot. Yeah, I rather. Yeah, I don't. I don't have any problems to shoot from more outside because I'm more open then. Yeah. And create more space for the team, and I'm not even worried about it. 
Yeah, most definitely. And I think that's, you know, that's a really, really good example of that. So, okay, defensively, mm -hmm. how would you describe yourself defensively? What are the things you think you're good at? And what are the things you think you're still improving? I think I can be a really good defender if I've got a, the right mindset. Mm -hmm. If I really want to go for it, I can be really tall on the ball. I can deflect many passes. I can be in between steel. I can get steals yeah. easily because of the long arms. Uh, I can be a really good defender, but sometimes when you're tired, you trying to get a break, and that's what I got. I gotta get out of my mind and just every time 200% on the ball, and I, I can't really do it. I think. Yeah, because you have the foot speed, you have the positional length. You know, I think you are a guy who, as your body continues to fill out, like who could add value. You have pretty good instincts off the ball as well. Um, so that okay, we're gonna go through some clips that are really good and some where you know you maybe could have yeah, ramped it up. So. Really have you seen this one? Yeah, this was really bad. I was more more watching to the screen mm -hmm. and on the ball. I was more focused on the screen. Yeah. And that's why I'm turning my head. And then, yeah, you see I'm way too late. And, and just, what? This is against Kai? Yeah, it's against Kai, yeah. I just got to be in the feet, push him over the screen, and then it's over. But, yeah. I yeah, most definitely. And, and that's kind of a pet peeve of a lot of coaches is, like, when a guard can reject the screen, that's what really screws mm -hmm. you, right? Yeah. Um, so I think just sit down, and even if you force him into that, you know, then you guys can corral him and probably play how you want to play, right? Uh -huh. um, yeah, just, we can do everything on this game. We can switch it. We can whatever what we need, whatever we need. Yeah, and I got a really good example of of you kind of playing exactly like that here. Okay, so you're gonna do a really good job of kind of navigating this. So what what coverage is this then? This is ice. Yeah. We're playing ice. We push him to the towards the baseline. Yeah. So you take a really good stance here, right? Yeah. I'm pushing away from the screen, uh -huh. and then the big guy is doing a really good job too. He's high, I can't recover fast. We, they don't have a big guy that can't shoot, so we can't leave him open at the tree. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was a pretty good defense there. Yeah, I think this is really good. Like you said, you know, you don't allow him to use the screen because you're icing it, uh -huh. and then you don't give up though here, right? Blowing up the yeah, dribble handoff. Trying to, try to deny the pass directly back. And then a great contest. Yeah, decent contest, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so I think clips like that show kind of your versatility, mm -hmm. multiple efforts. You know, that's that's what you can look like, right? Sure. Um, what about the, what about this clip? Okay, so we talked about the ball screen stuff. So here, okay, you're gonna switch. What do you see? Um, yeah, I gotta switch, but I gotta push him out out of the bucket. This is maybe too soft. I gotta be stronger and take position f before the big because my big guy is taking the ball. I gotta get in front of the other big, box him out to get the offensive rebound. I gotta do that better. No, that's a great point. And, and so much of, you know, the next level is about switching, right? Mm -hmm. And a key to switching is not just being able to, you know, stay in front of a guard if you switch or if you're on a big, but, you know, switching into a box out, right? Yeah, for sure. Because now I'm watching more to the ball mm -hmm. and I'm more focused on the ball and on the shot than on the big. So next time I'm gonna switch, I just gotta box him out and someone else can take the rebound. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this next possession here, uh, is a perfect example of, of what you can look like. Okay, so you get hit on the screen, you guys are gonna switch it, but look at the fight, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to fight in front of him. Fighting around, yeah, so let's talk me through this. What what happens here, so, okay. uh, First of all, yeah, I don't want him to get an easy post up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta really work for him to get the post up. Yeah. And then um, I'm going three quarter front him. Mm -hmm. Then when I see the ball going and, and it's a long air time, I try to just get the, get the steal, fight over him. I swim, swim over him and then just push the ball when I got him. And that's what their center, right? Yeah, there's their center, there's a five. Yeah, so that just shows like your size and when you're completely dialed in, like mm -hmm. you can be a guy who can, you know, switch yeah, four or five positions, so. right? I think so, yeah. The last question here, this is something I like to ask every player. Um, yeah. You know, we have all these prospects all over the world, you know, some in Europe, some in college, some coming out of Africa now. You have all these players in the NBA who are trying to you know, play more minutes and, and sign their next contract. Yeah. Like, why do you think it is that you could be, you know, someone to, to really break through and, and make it at the next level? Because I think um, I'm a really good teammate and I'm, I just want to be in, in the team and I really win things because that's the most important thing to achieve with the team. And that's why I also play a team sport because I like to be with teammates, to get a good relationship with teammates, with coach, with, with the staff. So that's more than most important. It's like, yeah, it's like family almost. And that, that's what's most important to me in basketball. 
Great. Well, Vern, it's, it's been really cool to watch yeah. your progression over the years. It, well, it's been four or five years, and I'm still learning how to pronounce your last name. But, you know, I appreciate you taking the time nah, today, and best of luck, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.